Hello, everybody! We are back in the Skyrim. Oh, I missed a few. We <laughs> get those last chickens. I saw one more! Where'd you go? Or was that it? Oh, never mind. Hey, welcome back to Skyrim, or some said I, or whatever. Hi! I'm Grim. That's Alpha. Let's go do stuff today. I actually have stuff planned today. It's not the Make Your Own uh, Adventure episode. Like last time! Oh, we're in a. Uh, what is it? The Ebon Stedment? Yeah, that's what it's called. Oh, hi, loser brother. How are you, buddy? Tidings. Yeah, good to see you too, buddy. Uh, you didn't you didn't greet me properly though. You clearly yes. have not been introduced to the customs of the lizard kingdom. You're supposed to try to kill me always upon remember. seeing me. The okay, that's run. how yes. lizards are supposed to roll. Did you, did you not get the memo? Could have swore I sent it out. Anyway, we need to talk to somebody today. Hi. Hey there. How you doing? Tell me about yourself. I am local. My husband and I come from Hammerfell, believe it or not. Found our new home here. Yo, that's me. My husband used to be an explorer there. Good money, but the people were superstitious. Figured we were spellcasters because, well. Because you're a damned wanted witch a place elf? we could be better appreciated. Yeah, I suppose. Anything you can tell me about the area? Oh, Eben. It's very nice. Nice-sized community, and we all look out for each other. And the Dominion leaves us alone. Lord Elberoth has run the place for a few hundred years. He is fair and respected, and quite the writer, by what I hear. You don't say. Uh, why does the Dominion leave Evan Sedman alone? Lord Elberoth bought our sovereignty. Don't know how much it cost, but they do not rule over Eben. We have our own laws. You know, you should ask his lordship if he has any houses for sale. You would be a welcome addition. Well, thanks! I would be a welcome addition, wouldn't I? And that is why we are here today, because we can buy a house. And then with this house, supposedly, we can finish that one quest we did like ages ago with that one dude that wanted to bang the cat. You remember that one? Greetings. Oh, oh hi. You snuck up on me, Monocle. <laughs> Jeez. But yeah, there was this drunken elf dude. He wanted to bang a cat, but the cat was like, nah, I don't, I don't want no scrubs. And so in order for him to not to be scrubbish, he needed a job. But he couldn't have a job because he didn't have a house. It's sort of like that argument where, like, uh, you, in order to have a job, you need a car. But to have a car, you need a job. It's a catch-22, you know? So we're trying to get him out of this uh, circle jerk of dumb fuckery. <laughs> anyway, uh, where's the guy I got to talk to? Oh, Hello. you! Hi! You got a house? I only have grove dwellings now. No houses. It cost... 30,000 septims. Is still interested. Oh, shit. I forgot. I'm broke. Oh, wait. I do have the money, Excellent. apparently. Here is the key to your dwelling. It is on the edge of the river and fully furnished. You should find it most adequate. Yes. Also, I'd like to point out, you were talking while you were chewing food, Jair. Uh, that's not very proper Few of a can lord. My Make it quick. Listen, I'm the king of lizards. I know them. these things, okay? Don't speak important people such as I while chewing on your fucking bread what the Speak uncouth quickly. savage but enough about etiquette and how to properly talk to the king of lizards uh, we just bought a house hooray uh, let's see oh god I have to do that mission again um I think it's around here so wait what's the button from a map oh, I don't play this game enough anymore I forgot all my buttons okay now supposedly this will be a good house for that uh that uh circle jerk dumb fuckery cat fucker to live in. So let's check it out before we lend it to the guy. Oh, it's got like the Hobbit style doorway. Yeah, that's cool. I dig that. If I were a Hobbit, I'm not. Though in the IRL, I do have a bit of hair on my feet, so that is a bit Hobbit esque. Yeah, I guess that's it. Yeah, not bad. Not a bad place. I do dig these places. Why is there? A canopy indoors. What is the purpose of a canopy indoors? Whatever. Apparently it rains inside. It has been known to happen in Somerset. Like that one set of car place had a had a room where it was raining inside. You remember, Alva, you were there. Then we fought legions of fishmen. Okay. Great news. We are making progress, friends. Now all we gotta do is go back to the uh, catfucker. Ah, there you are, cat. Fucker, you was hiding. Hey, guess what, buddy? I mean, 
Golan. I keep calling you cat so fucker. I'm you sorry. You got me a, a job? Did I? I can't remember what we did in this quest. Apparently we did. What do you got you sure, say? You have something better to ah, do. I could jump in the water. I should clean some of that stink off. But I don't have a home. Great but news, I buddy! You, you know. I, I get, uh, got you up. a house. You can't stay with me, but you can stay in my dirty, dirty hobbit hole. Oh, uh, that sounded what gross. Uh, anyway, it's a house. It's not... I don't mean it metaphorically. What? A, just go to the dirty hole. Are you sure you don't mind? I don't care. I will never go there. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Just uh, need to collect my thoughts. Then I'll head over to get cleaned up. You need to collect your thoughts? Oh, are they collected? Are you okay? Okay, so what happens now? Alva, what happens now? We eliminated the homeless. This time, not by killing them. <laughs> That's how I got rid of all the homeless in Skyrim. <laughs> were you there for that, Alva? I don't, I don't know if you were there or not. But uh, we got rid of all the homeless people in Skyrim via the one blade that Mufala gives you. Where you have to betray people in order to charge it up. It's pretty great. Uh, so what now? Let's see. Speak with Marasa? Oh, that's the cat lady. Oh, okay. And now we can get the homeless gentleman, or formerly homeless gentleman, to uh, hook up with this cat. Why are we doing this? It's a quest, so you gotta do it. But, like, morally speaking, we should probably not be doing this. This is interspecies breeding. What kind of child would they have? It would be just. I think they'd have a Khajiit child. Isn't that the rule in Elder Scrolls? Like, whoever the mom is, that race gets passed on to them or something? I don't know. So they would have, like, a gross-ass elf cat child, Creature. right? The Marasa! It wants something? Uh, no, not really. The the cat fucker does. I'll give, you, I'll give you three guesses what the cat fucker wants. If you don't get it on your first guess, you don't get your other two guesses. I found gold in work and, uh, and a house. And, uh, yeah. That's you going on. did this for him. Why? Because apparently I love interspecies breeding. No, you are too kind. Khajiit will share burden. Tell Golin he can stay here. I will help him clean up. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> so, what? I got him this house, and then you're like, oh, no, no. No, he doesn't have to live in the house. He can stay here. What about the house, then? What the hell? Granted, I do love my property, so I'm not going to complain. But it seems like a real roundabout way to just be like, oh, he can stay with the cat lady now. Whatever. So, okay. Which begs the question, though. Uh, the cat lady said he would help the dirty homeless man clean up. I'd like to remind you how cats clean themselves. Is that what's going to go on here? Oh, you are in luck, sir. You are in luck. Change of plans. Oh, no. What happened? Uh, you are going to get tongue bathed to perfection. Tr tr truly? Oh. oh, thank you again, stranger. I'll... I'll head there now. Stranger, how do you not know me? I'm the king of fucking lizards. I just bought a house for you. Well, sort of. Whatever. Anyway, yay! We got a dirty, drunken, homeless man laid. And tongue bathed. I don't feel like we've done the world a favor today, Alpha. <laughs> anyway, while we are here, there's a whole city here I haven't actually explored yet. So, uh, it should be, oh, I don't know, probably up where that giant fortress is. Uh -huh. Let's make our way up there, shall we? Okay, I think we found it. Have we actually been here before? I think we have, except I took the dumbass roundabout way inside, which involved me not actually going through the door, but just, like, scaling the walls by, like, being a dirty cheater. So we I have actually been here, but not, people. like, the city very proper them, or whatever that means. <laughs> Anyway, I think there's supposed to be uh, a person of importance I'm supposed to talk to while I'm here. 
the uh, royalty, if I'm not mistaken. Ava! We must make our presence known to the royalty of this place. It's called uh, diplomacy or something. Establish good relations with the dirty witch elves. You know, so we can continue our war unmolested with the fishmen. The damned fishmen. Hello! Where's the royalty? I notice I'm in your throne room and you're not here. Oh, they must be sleeping right now. Okay, Speak we must me. find them in their chambers. I will not... I will not force myself to wait for them. Or I guess I could sit in their chair and wait for them. <laughs> I should do that. Do. Alva, I am doing stuff. I'm going to sit in their throne and wait for these bastards. Give me a few. Hello? You here? It's 9 in the morning. This is when you start ruling your kingdom and such. This is when the Lizard King... So Actually, no. Lizard Kingdom uh, doesn't isn't ruled until at least noon. Lizard King does not wake up until it leads the crack of noon. It's truth. Well, Hi, man. man. Good day. Good day, King of Landril. Nalanaro. Dude. Hello. I got I got to break it down for you, buddy. Uh, there's some there's some weird drunk elf dude banging a cat well, as not. we speak. Y you got any laws against that? I feel like there should be some laws against that. I'm just Hello. saying. At, you, at your next uh, Congress or summit... Or whatever you might introduce some like anti cat banging um litig <laughs> laws or something i don't know i think we need to talk to the queen though where's the queen anything good going on in here what's this hey what's your deal huh hello hmm what's a naked lizard doing in here mm -hmm. hi what the hell's going on why is there naked lizards in here what's this guy's deal Oh, there's a lot of mysteries going on down here. A lot of weirdness going on down here. Okay, if you if you don't know what's going on, friends, uh, I was looking for the queen, I... and uh, I just started wandering around blindly, and then I found the dungeon. And then there's this going on. Are you being interrogated? What do you want, lizard? I I want to shout at you now. More cups and plates for me to carry? God damn it! That was not. I do not have my unrelenting force equipped clearly. <laughs> well, it's been so much fun. Yeah, it has been fun. Huh? You just ruined my fun. I'd like to remind you, Demon Butler. You like doing don't that, don't you? Carry you some son of, of a bitch. A We're fucking done. Fun ruined. Okay. It's been so. Anyway, fun. there's clearly something going on down here. I don't know what it is. That seems to happen a lot in this mod. Like, it fills me with wonder is how I can best describe it. There's like a bunch of stuff going on and I don't know what it is, but there's you clearly something, something going on. Like, uh, I, uh, like when I was playing it off screen, treasury, hello. But when I was playing it off screen, I, uh, I keep running into things that are just like amazing to me. Hello. And I, I might show them off in an episode, but like, I don't know what's going on, but it's the most insane shit ever. What's your deal? Need something? Are you the queen? You're not the queen! Still, there are many jewels in here. I kind of want them. Because uh, I do spend a lot of Speak money on houses around here. Hmm? So, could you guys kindly, like, not look at me while I jack all your shit? <laughs> Actually, no. Nah, no. Nah. We don't need to jack your shit. Now, anyway. Maybe later on, I'll uh, murder you in your sleep and then steal all your stuff. What is this? What? Oh, it's just a black hole into nothing. Okay, cool. Maybe she's back in the... Oh, there well, she is! I'm guessing you're the queen since Greetings. you're in that chair right there. That isn't the king's chair. Greetings. Hi! How's Lilandril, your highness? Lilandril fares well, but why do you disturb us? Because that's what I do. I disturb things and people. Well, to varying degrees, I suppose... You know there's a guy fucking a cat in your city? Now that's disturbing. <laughs> you should be asking him that question. You got any task for me? There's a thug attacking our people at the abandoned docks. If you were to dispose of him, I might look favorably toward you. Oh, there's a thug? Aw, oh, snap. We can't have thugging in our city? Let's get him. I'm the only thug allowed here. Okay, where's the thug? Performing his thuggery. Should we read this quest? Okay. The Queen of Lalandril, Marowin, 
has asked me to personally deal with the thugs at the abandoned docks. She indicated to me roughly where the abandoned docks is. Map. Oh, it's so way the butt's over here. Really? These people are... Oh, okay. Oh, God. We have to fast travel the hidden cave. Still have nightmares of that place. <laughs> Seriously, that is... That is probably the scariest dungeon I've ever played in Skyrim. I'm trying to think of a dungeon that was scarier. I think the only thing that comes close... Actually, oh, the one in the main game at the lighthouse with all the choruses... First time I played that, that was terrifying. Of course, that was like one of the first times I ever ran into Choruses. Was when I did uh, that dungeon. Uh, can we be fair? Like, when you're playing this game, when you first played this game, and you first ran into a Chorus, were they not just fucking terrifying? The skittering, man. The skittering was the worst. You know what I'm saying? It was... Hi. <laughs> oh, you're coming at me! Oh, oh, oh. Hey, oh my you? God! Thank the divines. I was getting <sighs> bored. Wait, is this on? Hold on. Is this on legendary difficulty? Let me check. Yes, it is. They are just really bad. No. <laughs> oh, hi. What's up? It's Lizard King here. I uh, I killed the fishmen. Yeah. Have you heard of me? Morning. Yeah, I Back kill off. things. <laughs> what was that? She just I told like me to, to back off. Well. <laughs> back off. <laughs> you're, you're warning me. <laughs> oh, oh, you're funny. You know what? You're not even worth the Lizard King's fun. Your time. Demon friend? Where is my demon friend? I'm warning you. Back off. Be with this bitch. A bad time to get lost. Nah, friend. nah, nah. You ain't my friend. I'm not <laughs> even dealing with your ass. The Where are you, demon friend? Oh, there you are. You deal with the demon friend. You're not even worth my time. Oh! Are you coming at me with a fucking you dagger? You, you come at the King of Blizzards with a dagger. Yeah. Who does that? Laughable. Get out of here. I don't even brand my weapon to your scum kind. Wait, maybe I do have to hit him in order to get credit for the quest. Okay, fine. Fine, I will deal with you. But I will level my destruction while I do it. Kia, bitch. Hey, that's supposed to stun lock, you jerk. What the hell? What the heck? Get stun lock. There we go. Alva, you're shooting me. Stop it. Well, I don't get the feeling Alva just pissed off my demon pal and we're going to have to kill him. You know what? That's fine. Demon friend's gonna offer more of a challenge than freaking this guy. You coming at me, bitch? No? Okay, cool. Well, he's dead. <laughs> that was fun. Uh, you gotta love it when you're, like, so much more powerful than a bad guy that you just have your minions take care of it for you. Right, Alva? I'm totally right. That is one of the perks of being the king of lizards. Alright, cool. Dealt with them thugs. I wonder what happened with the uh, old cat fucker. I think we better check out on a uh, cat fucker and a uh, cat fucky. <laughs> Is that the right word? The receiver of said cat fucking would be the cat fucky. I think you can just get away with calling him a what are you cat. Looking at? But you need whatever. Something. We should probably check hmm? up on them before we end the episode, right? Greetings. Hi! I killed thugs! Yay! My eyes tell me you speak the truth. Oh. You are earning my trust. This is most pleasant. Is it now? Okay. So I murdered a bunch of people. And, uh... Yeah, you, you see me as a great person. Y you know I'm a murderer. <laughs> right? Like, most people, when they run into a murderer, they're a bit put off by that... Apparently not. And that's what I like about you, your highness. Yes, favored subject. Oh, I'm your favorite already. Wow, we are moving fast. What else can I do? I find your efforts most enjoyable. I have a more simplistic task for you. What? I would like you to deliver a message oh, okay. to Andratha, an old friend. She lives in her tower by No, Arnold. no, no! Tell her that he does have it and that he plans to use it like the other did. No! No! You were sending me back to that wretched woman in the tower? No! No! Oh, no! I thought we were done with that terrible woman! No! Then you're sending me back? Oh, you're the worst! Okay, I... I... Now kind of hate these quests. Damn it! I can't believe we have to go back! You know what? You know what? Fuck all that noise! I don't even want to do that. Oh, I hate that woman. Ugh. 
if you don't recall, she was the one that was like, go talk to this person, go talk to that person, get me booze, get me tea, and that was the extent of her quests. Then at the end of her, all of her dumb shittery, she was all like, oh yeah, I didn't actually have anything important to do. I was just seeing if you would actually do it. To which I responded with extreme anger! I hate that woman. Anyway, we're going to save that for next time. And and for now, we're going to check up on uh, an old cat fucker here. Avert your eyes, children! Oh, wait. Oh, okay. I thought there was going to be something gross going on here, like uh, heavy petting then, or something. What can Marasa do for you? Nothing. I was just checking up on you. Oh, cool. So they're living together now? That's great. Uh, what's the sleeping situation? Oh, single twin bed. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Can resist my let's, uh, let's never go back in there again. I think we got lucky there that there wasn't anything weird going on. I think we got extremely lucky. We're in, we were, like... We showed up in a lull between gross cat bangings. <laughs> you gotta take a break every so often, you know. Uh, anyway, I, I think next time we're gonna get continue the missions for the queen. Go to that terrible fucking tower again. And uh, hopefully finish up all those missions. And then I have another thing lined up. Then more fun stuff. Okay, okay. I'll see you then. Laters.